Hi, lovelies. We're going to label this the reading that is now. Okay, this is going to be newly included on Fridays. There's usually going to be a doubled up thing if you guys like this very much. Welcome back. I looked at the comments. Um, it's really hard now because the comments do get flooded. Uh, prior to Libra Light's inception, it was easier to skim through like 40 comments and comment, but now it's like writing back to everyone's very difficult. So um, I, I saw a lot of you are going out tonight. I think this is the weekend. Am I right? Like this is the weekend because it falls on a Wednesday. So all the adults are going to be dressing up. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to have a fun time together. This is just reading the energy, whatever wants to come out. And it could literally be any card. I was looking through this deck because it's really big. And we have yin energy so let's start it we have our bosom buddies there in divine feminine tom hanks was in bosom buddies i don't know if your person like maybe looks like tom hanks because i'm i don't know why i even said that because of the bosoms in the in the beginning card there and then we have deja vu uh some of you could be experiencing deja vu like there's some dreams that are kind of forming in your day-to-day -day or even just the experience of a deja vu we have past life repeated patterns, karma. Around you, there could be someone realizing a karmic pattern, like it just keeps repeating for them, or this is you. It says, learning from the karmic lessons. Yep, getting back to peace. This was in a video a few days ago where I told you guys you would be returning to this. This is something that you're finding is, you know what, I kinda know what works for me. I know the things that are good. I know the things that don't distract me. We have a runner here. Okay, let's clarify. Ziraner. Okay, invisible ghosting, they disappear. If you look too, the colors are Halloween ish, like deener, neener, neener. <laughs> Running. Okay, let's see what's going on. Who's the runner? Show me the runner, please. Clarity. Clarice. Empress. So, what I'm getting, and I'm not getting that the Empress is the runner here or anything. I think she's the object of affection that they want to reach out to. But in fact, they run away from the closest thing possible to them. I do think that they remember things. Libra, something that's coming in here. And I went on the freeway. I was driving for a while. I kept getting downloads. I knew I was going to see the Empress today. It was either her or the Emperor. So at the top of the hour here, this is being done shortly before 1240 in the afternoon. So of course, we're going to have evening videos change all this we're just getting the preliminary actions in the afternoon and the empress is the one who decided to come out okay what do we got here they are class the runner in the halloween colors is the spire that seems a little more correct <laughs> i'm just i'm just saying what i feel um it says information ways there's a social network that actually both of you could contact each other or see in the same vein. What I pick this up as is um, maybe Instagram, but I also think that they could know people that you do too, okay, energetically. Even a new person could know like a certain, there's a common place between you two. And I'm gonna show this fine card because it's funny. Um, I'm showing it due to the fact that he looks like he's on YouTube. <laughs> Doesn't it look like the YouTube app or something? But um, there's ways to compile how much closer this person, maybe they're closer than you think uh, with a spine card. We also have clarity with the camera and I'm gonna read you guys the adjectives again. Um, the camera is an Olympus Trip 35. I don't know if some of you work with that or you have used this camera in your career. I know a lot of you right now work in graphic design and you are a photographer. So maybe you own this camera at one point. My dad had the Olympus. Uh, it says here, intentions and honesty. For some of you, they know somebody that's in connection with you, perhaps that talks to you quite a bit. Okay, um, Empress also, I feel like you're rolling all four queens, <laughs> all four queens rolled in a one. That is the satisfying thing to watch for this person. What do they want? What do they want? And we're going to do feelings in this video. Distance, mm. time. Okay, take my time on this video. Time and distance, the clock is ticking, tick tock on this person. I do feel like one of you 
one day is going to realize the gravity of the separation because it also looks like distance is what purports this situation or it is a factor in why both of you cannot readily see each other. Um, either one person feels emotional distance or this is a distance physically like someone's got to hop on a plane, get on a car ride. Mm -hmm. But they could be cycling back around with their emotions coming up soon. We do have um we have a new moon, a strong one in Scorpio. I believe it's November 17th. I'll put the correct date down below, of course. Don't want to speak out before I don't know. And that one's going to be powerful. It's going to be transmuting. It's going to be your total transformation coming to a complete halt. I believe everything you've been doing these last couple months is going to end on that new moon, which you manifest something new. <laughs> so um, one more feeling before we get a tarot cards, which are way more serious. Judgment. This is the Judgment card in Hearts Hidden Secrets. Healing, Six of Swords. This person will be back, okay? That's what I wanna say. They'll be back. They're gonna go heal. Uh, they're gonna take the time that they really truly need and I do believe this person needs it. They could be going through a dark night of the soul and they're now cleansing their energy of any delusions, maybe even bad people surrounding them too. I believe this partner is going to come to you in a moment of light and help, okay? Probably by that new moon in Scorpio, or you might catch them spying on you way before then. Someone will ask me today under the video, do you believe there will be contact? The brave ones will contact, okay? The ones who really, really want to fix a situation or they do believe that karma is happening because of something they did to you or they placed judgment too soon or they even got you know friends family their foes in on the situation they are going to be looked at uh with with swiftness okay either from the divine or they're going to be told by their ancestors to reach out to you people feel it in funny ways and i'll tell you how some of those signals happen um <laughs> i'm all taking a deep breath through song they could be reminded of an artist libra that you liked I'll share something personal. My ex who I dated for nine and a half years would always hear Gwen Stefani when dealing with me. And I remember when we'd talk again, he would say, um, I constantly heard no doubt when you were gone or I heard songs of Gwen Stefani's when I did not speak to you. So um, those are little confirmations and little notes that, you, that no reader is going to talk about. Okay, uh, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that is. Happy Halloween. Let's get it. What's the energy right now? Two cards. Page of Pentacles. I saw the Hanged Man in my pre-shuffle and I have it for the current. So this is spicy. Hanged Man is Pisces energy. There could be a Pisces that thinks of you quite a bit actually. And the Page of Pentacles, which is a bread crummy offer coming to a theater near you in Halloween orange cargo pants from 1994 um, or TJ Maxx. So we do have two things here that we have to talk about. It's kind of serious because they're taking a pause for reflection. This is your person's feelings. What else do they want to say? Upright five of cups, upright eight of swords. I'm getting two things. Just give me a sec because I have to word it a particular way. <laughs> five of cups is like, it's deeper than remorse. They're remembering, okay, this is how I want to put it. They're remembering a specific day where both of you hung out. It could be, what I'm getting is it's a tense of a conversation where you said something out loud. It actually stuck to this person when they bypassed it. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. If it's not yours, leave it. But there was a conversation. I want to say, Libra, that this person was left with and they knew you were right. Even in the moment, they, they knew you were correct about it. Eight of Swords. We have somebody who could be not reaching you because of this restrictive behavior that they have. Now they got the Eight of Swords in the afternoon readings. They have it. We got a Cancer with Queen of Cups. Give it a second because if you are dealing with a Cancer, even on a personal level, or this could be Scorpio too, or Water Sign Energy, because now the water's trickling in for you guys, if you notice. Five of Cups, Water Card. Queen of Cups, water card, Pisces, and the hanged man is water. Um, the world. Yeah, I'm picking up someone who does not want you to go away. Okay? If you notice, I didn't say 
um, they're sad about a closure or they're sad about the world card. I actually told you something in specific there. Really sad that an era has ended with you. I don't know if you guys have specific Halloween memories, but I am channeling a person who has a specific Halloween memory with a person. 1010, as I looked up. So it could be truly over on your part. <laughs> we have a magician. That says a lot. Magician in the world. This is somebody manifesting you, manifesting your aura too. If you look, she has an aura field around the ring. They could be watching you close it out in prosperity and you look like you're peaceful, okay? You look like you're happy also. The rainbow dress too talks about chakras and auras. Some of you could be seeing a lot of rainbows and readings, um, maybe eggs from the five of cups and butterflies. Who's the queen of cups? Knight of Cups. This is a person who still loves you, okay? Or they have longing feelings. He's back for the afternoon. Hierophant, Three of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Pentacles is what I have. Eight, eight of Pentacles too. Eight. Something about eight, eight. Or you're seeing a lot of threes. This is a significant card right now with the Three of Swords. Let me put it on the table before I forget. Now the Four of Cups wants to show me it's here. Four of Cups is about... Uh, missed opportunities, right? So there is a person in the Three of Swords and Four of Cups. What happened here with uh, Libra Saturn energy of the Three of Swords? <clears throat> Lovers. Okay, somebody does feel like you are a soulmate on some level. Why you were brought into their life, I think they're getting information on because she's really psychically attuned. So this could be a Cancer getting information about you. This could be Gemini Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, very significant, just showing up for uh, zodiac signs here. Okay. What's the Knight of Cups? Knight of Swords. So we have Aquarius and Libra energy here. Something comes in quick. Something is very speedy after a breakup or heartache. So if you had a recent breakup, and on our channel we have newer Libras and we have the the ones that have been on the trek and ascended for a long time so you could have had even like a new type of heartbreak maybe with a newer person or someone from your past that made a reprise is how I want to put that show me why they're fast justice maybe to apologize sometimes is the justice card or to make things right to set it right one jumped in my hand the hermit nah -uh. <laughs> Nah. So, Queen of Swords, Seven of Cups, King of Wands, Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles to success. It's like, it's really fiery. Uh, a little bit of it is like, it's very sexual. Like these two cards are really sexual, especially when it explains like your heart space, how you feel about the person. Wandsy with the six, which is Leo. Uh, Ace of Wands being like super passionate. Okay, always has been attracted to you. Okay, show me one more current card. Show me one more current. The star, they view you as the star, or maybe you're completely healed in their eyes. Oh, that's a nice compliment paid to you, Libra, right next to your major arcana. Look at that. I don't know if I'm the only reader picking it up for the afternoon, but I'm going to hold up what I have. Um... They view you as like a starlit night. Maybe some of you are coming into your own. A lot of my divine feminines, maybe they're watching you become more mature. More mature. Even if you're already mature, you're more mature. What does the hermit want? Hermit with Virgo, please. Seven of Pentacles to invest. You, I think you have a newer investor coming in for some of you that are gaining new networking friends um, associations maybe at work this has also begun then there's an opportunity here with the seven of pentacles and it's because you've been left alone you've either been hermiting or this is your card today okay we are going to go into a big big bonus it's only for um audible hearing so that's why i'm going to go into it a lot hard <laughs> hardcore and um it's like itchy this thing here um we will go into a much deeper reading using the same energy of these cards if you're interested it's also a double extended 